Your name is Kenyon. Oh yeah, Carol. You're early, only one week. What's the matter? Warbucks put up with Annie already? Oh no. On the contrary, Mr. Warbucks is delighted with Annie, and Annie is having the time of her life. How nice. Yes, she and Mr. Warbucks are practically inseparable. They go everywhere together to the Roxy, to the Stock Exchange, and oh, guess where they had lunch the other day? The Waldorf. The Automat. The Automat. And she just loves her new coat. She never takes it off. Never? Never. Miss Hannigan, I know you're busy, but uh, this has to be signed and brought back to Mr. John to the Board of Orphans no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. What for? Well, Mr. Warbucks is so taken with Annie that, guess what? What? He's going to adopt her. How oh, nice! How wonderful! Now, let me get this wonderful news straight. Annie's going to be the daughter of a millionaire? Oh, no, 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 no. She's going to be the daughter of a billionaire. <laughs> a, a, a billionaire? And... Mr. Warbucks asked me to drop by in person to tell you that Annie will not be coming back here. Ever. Ever? <laughs> ever. My, my, my. Would you excuse me just for one moment? <laughs> Got any more wonderful news? I told you about the coat, didn't I? Yeah, you told me about the coat. Well, Good day, Miss Hannigan. Yeah, good day. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas! Whoops. Pardon me, <laughs> Hi, sis. Long time, no see. Oh, Rooster. God, it never rains, but it pours. They finally let you out of Sing Sing? Yeah, I got six months out for good behavior. I'll bet. What was it this time? Some old geezer from Yonkers said I swindled them out of 1100 bucks. Why do you say that? Because the rooster swindled them out of 1100 bucks. Oh, well. It's true. Sis, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. She's from, well, well, she's from. Jersey City! Right, Jersey City. She's a Miss Lily St. Regis. I named after the hotel. What floor? <laughs> oh, don't you just love Lily, sis? Yeah, I'm nuts about her. Rooster, do me a favor. Hey. Get out of here and take the St. Regis with you. Oh, come on, sis. Can it? Looking for another handout, huh? Nah, I got eight bucks coming in the mail Thursday. So all I need is a ten to tie me over. Not even a nickel for the subway, Rooster. A fiber in? Huh, I got all that. You with all your big time. I'm gonna be living in Clover. Well, this ain't exactly fucking ham palace. Oh yeah? I'm on the city. Steady salary, free gas, free food, and electric. I'm doing all right. Sis, you're doing how I'm doing. Lousy. Oh, Aggie, how the two Hannigan kids ever end up like this? I remember the way our sainted mother would sing Krumnas her lullaby. She'd say, kids, there's a place that's like no other. You've got to get there before you die. You don't get there by playing from the rule book. Mother dear, oh we know you're down there listening. How can we follow your sweet advice to Who's 
that day my bumped into when I come in? Looked like she had a couple of dollars. She worked for Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks? The millionaire? No, the billionaire, you dumb hoe, too. <laughs> Anyways, worked for my mom's mansion on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue? He don't live on Fifth Avenue. Shut up. Anyways, brought me the wonderful news that Annie, and I hate that kid, Annie's gonna be adopted by Warbucks. The little girl's gonna have everything. She's gonna have everything. Crummy orphan, living in the lap of luxury. It ain't fair. Nah, it ain't fair. It ain't fair how we scrounge for three or four bucks while she gets more bucks. That little brat. It ain't fair this year life is driving me nuts while we get peanuts. She's living fat. Maybe she holds the key, that little lady. 